it. Thank you. So, I will first ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Yeah. And do you have a lot of recreational sun activities? Yeah, lots. Lots of lots. surfing, lots of time outside running right. and all that sort of stuff. And you protect yourself? Yes, you? yeah, sunscreen. Right. And I, I, a lot of the time I won't wear, you know, in the water I wear a long wetsuit top mm -hmm. and shorts, but you know, when I'm at the gym or outside running, I normally wear a t-shirt or a singlet. And but, you wear a hat? Yeah, I always wear a hat, yeah. That's good. Often I see, you know, the, the people uh, coming with melanoma saying, oh, if I had known, uh, I, would, I would really have done things differently. And I think the new generation now, the message is there and they should get it because it's, it's so important. Melanoma is preventable, uh, most of them are. Um, so there is some genetic factors and other factors in the sun, but sun is the main factor and, and I think you can really avoid it. Uh, I really emphasize the, the role of the change because it's something that the patient can grab. It's not easy to distinguish a freckle from an edge spot, from a mole, from something else. Uh, we are here for that, but the change a patient can tell. Hi Hayden, how are you? Good to see you nice again. Nice to see you again. Take a seat. Uh -huh. So I saw you three months ago mm -hmm. for some short-term monitoring yep. of two lesions on your back. Mm -hmm. Today I'm just going to retake them with the dermatoscope, okay. put them side by side on the computer and then Dr. Gutierre and I will have a good look and see okay. if there's any changes. So we're re-monitoring this lesion here and this lesion here. So in general people need to check for changes in colour, size, pattern shape if it was flat and then it becomes raised that's a sign of change but also you can get melanomas that are amelanotic so they're lesions that are actually not pigmented so they're not dark brown or black they can be pink and skin toned so during the first 15 years of your life if you've been badly burnt um, peeled then you've got a high risk of developing melanoma in later life also if you've got a family history of melanoma uh, you can be more at risk uh, so genetic factors, and then also fair-skinned people, redheads, uh, blondes, light-coloured eyes, uh, they're, they're high-risk factors. Always make sure you're not in outside during the peak time, so that's generally between 10 and 3. Make sure you seek shade, wear a wide-brimmed hat, apply SPF um, 30 plus or above every two hours, and wear protective clothing. Donate to Melanoma Institute of Australia to help find a cure for melanoma.